Hi, this is Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. This is uh, December 3rd, and uh, I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. Um, I've titled this video Body Count because we've just finished up our regular rifle season, and the numbers are in. Regular rifle season for you non hunters out there is we have a two week hunting season here, hunting. And uh, it's for deer, and you can use rifles up here in northern Michigan. Regular gun season is what they call it. Personally, I don't hunt. My sons do, and lots of my friends do. I used to, but I just don't anymore. Um, during that season, there was some 50,000 deer that were shot and harvested, I guess. There was uh, 11 wolves that were killed up in the UP. For a lot of years, we didn't have them up there, but now they're over, overrunning the place. And there were zero feral swine killed. So, that's why I've called it body count, because that presents a real problem. The Department of Natural Resources is saying that we have all these uh, feral animals running around in the woods, but then during the regular gun season, not one of them is killed. So I'm sure if one was, they would be showing that in the front page of you know, the Lansing Times, but uh, they haven't. So I just thought that was an interesting point. All right, my next point is not so interesting. It's actually kind of worrisome. <clears throat> I talked about it in my last video, but it's called Senate Bill 652. Senate Bill 652 was pushed through uh, the legislature in 12 days, from the time it was presented Till the time it was signed into law by the governor, Governor Rick Schneider, Rick Schneider uh, was 12 days. Senate Bill 652 requires that any citizen of the state of Michigan who feels as though they have uh, a complaint against the state and they want to settle that in a court of law, they now have to sue the state at the Court of Appeals. Now I know a lot of people don't know what that means. I would have never known what this means before I got involved in this whole thing. But this is how it worked for us. All right, the DNR comes out with this foolish declaratory ruling that says any pig that has a straight tail or a curly tail is illegal. Any pig that's pure black is illegal. Any pig that has long hair is illegal. Any pig that has a, a folded ear or a floppy ear or an erect ear is illegal. Any pig that has characteristics not currently known to the Department of Natural Resources is illegal. And of course it was ridiculous and stupid. To you guys it was ridiculous and stupid. To me it's my livelihood. It's what I do for a living. It's how I feed my kids. So it was about the same as somebody coming in here and, uh, and stealing everything I owned. And their reason for doing it was because my pigs look like pigs that they claim are feral. All right, And then they had some other things in there. They said no Russian, wild Russian boar, uh, no old world swine, no razorbacks, uh, all these uh, no feral pigs. And, uh, you know, we don't, we don't have any of those because our pigs are definitely behind our fences and they're definitely domestic animals. So anyway, what we did was we went to the Masaki County Courthouse my county and we filed suit against the state and then the state has to send their representatives up to our court and they have to make their claim in front of our judge or a jury and then it is decided and that gives the citizen um, some leverage against the all-powerful state but you don't have that anymore pursuant to Senate Bill 652 and I want you to go check this out Call your rep representatives, call your legislators, call them and find out what the deal is on this. And read it first before you take their word for it. Um, pursuant to that, you have to sue the state now in the state court of appeals. And what that is, is there are four judges. These judges are appointed by the Supreme Court. Two Democrats, two Republicans, you'd think it'd be real even-sided, but when you sue in the court of claims. You only get one of those judge, judges. And they're not from your county. 
they're not your neighbor. Like in my case, we sued in Misaki County. For the last two years, we've been trying to get the DNR into court, and they're taking every sidetrack they can to keep us out of court. But if we could get them to court, at least the judge is our neighbor. You know, he's from Cadillac, next town over. He's lived in this community all of his life. He's a farm kid. Um, he's not a kid anymore. He's probably 60 or so, but... Uh, you know, we feel like we can get a fair shake. If we go down to Lansing and sue with a judge that takes a paycheck from the state and we are suing the state, we just don't feel like we're going to get a, a fair shake. And it is not constitutional per Michigan Constitution, actually. What they've done is totally unconstitutional. But in our research of Senate Bill 652, we have actually met with several uh, people that were responsible for voting for Senate Bill 652, come to find out they didn't actually read it before they voted for it. And I was a little discouraged with that, seeing how they get paid pretty good money to, to make this stuff work and make it work right. Senate Bill 652 is four pages long, and they hadn't actually read it. So now it is the law of the land, and the Attorney General, uh, it was signed into law on the 12th of November, my hearing was on the 13th of November, and it was to determine whether or not we could get the DNR's main information guy, Dr. Jack Mayer, as a witness. And sure enough, the Attorney General pulled a bunch of strings, and that we, we can't get him as a witness. We can't bring him up here. You know, he can write all these books, and he can his name can appear in the declaratory ruling a bunch of times, and they quote him and everything, but we can't put him on the stand and ask him questions. Kind of sad, I think. Sad for the citizenry. It's sad for us. You know, we're the people that do the work and pay the taxes, and actually these, these idiots at the DNR, and I mean idiots, um, you know, we pay their salary, you know, and they're supposed to be working for us, but they're putting me out of business, you know, for no good reason. But anyway, Senate Bill 652 is a real bad thing. It's affecting me. Um, they pulled it out on my hearing. My hearing was the, the 13th, signed into law on the 12th. The 13th, at the end of the hearing, the judge asked the Attorney General, what, what about the 652? Are you going you gonna to use that? And they said, absolutely, Judge. You no longer have jurisdiction over this case. It's going to be taken to the Court of Appeals. So at that point, the judge said, well, what, you know, why, do, why are we even here? Why do we even come here if you're going to pull it out of my court if I don't have jurisdiction? So there still is some question whether or not the attorney general is telling the truth. And that's a sad commentary right there. I mean, the attorney general, they're supposed to be all about truth, justice, in the American way. These guys are the biggest scumbags I've ever seen, you know, right from the top on down. And that's, that's the honest, honest truth here, commentary about my state government. Not all of them but there's a lot of them that are real slippery. Okay, not much we can do about that. I think the, the bigger issue is 652. They, they put it into law in 12 days. Well, I think they can repeal it in 12 days. What do you think? Here's why you ought to think about that. Uh, the bigger issue is um, you've all seen how the Department of Natural Resources can come up with something as foolish, as absolutely foolish, as any pig with a straight tail or a curly tail is illegal. Well, what prevents the DNR to, uh, from telling you what species of shrubs you can have in front of your house? Oh, they'd never do that. They wouldn't. What prevents them from telling you what breed of dog that you can keep? Oh, they'd never do that. Really? They can now, and guess what? You'll have to sue them in the State Court of Appeals. And here's a, here's a good example. Right now, and I've told you about this. Down in Detroit, a lovely city on the hill, uh, they've had to discontinue postal service to certain parts of the city because there's packs of feral dogs. Now, what does a feral dog look like? Well, it can look like anything from a Chihuahua to a Great Dane. It's a dog that somebody had to let go because they lost their job and they moved to Maryland or someplace and they left their dog behind and these dogs take to the streets and then in order to survive they you know they rewild themselves and then they mate with you know chihuahuas are mating with great danes and they're coming out with these great chihuahuas and i mean it's terrible what's going on there. but they estimate there's fifty thousand dogs <clears throat> running around in detroit 
And I said, uh, where's the DNR on this? Now, if the DNR was going to approach this problem with feral dogs the same way they've approached this made-up problem of feral swine, they would say anybody that has a dog, you've got to get rid of it. Why? Because it could become feral. And if it could become feral, I, I mean, these feral dogs, I mean, the truth of the matter is, I read an HSUS story, the truth of the matter is, if you can believe those guys, Humane Service, Humane Society, um, there are people that are being injured. There was a story in there about a postal worker that had their scalp chewed off by a pack of wild dogs. All right. Now, and if they tell you you have to get rid of your dog, you're not going to be able to sue them in your county court. You're going to have to sue them in the state court of appeals. Do you know how long that's going to take? I can tell you in the last two years we have spent a lot of money, a whole lot of money, suing the state of Michigan in Misaki County Court. And now all of a sudden the state has put an end to it. It ends right there. And we have to start all over again at the state court of appeals. Now, did, was this Senate Bill 652 put in place for the feral swine initiative? Hmm? You know, people have told me, no, no, there's bigger fish to fry. Well, who was the first casualty of Senate Bill 652? My family, right? Now, we did the thing that we're supposed to do, act like gentle people, took the state to court to settle this differences. When the state shows up in court, they always got to bring a bunch of guys packing guns. We have never gone down that road, and we never intend to. We never intend to. That's not part of this. But that's where they go all the time. And then when the going gets a little bit tough and it looks like Judge Fagerman's going to hear the case, what do they do but pull it out of the county court? Shame on you, Mr. Shooty. Shame on you. And you too, Governor Snyder. I'm very disappointed in you. Now, folks, I said to you before, there's no time like the present to get on the phone and chew these guys a new one. But this is, this is worse. I mean, my case is going to come and go, right? But Senate Bill 652 just took away a lot of your constitutional rights. And most of you don't even know it. And don't take it from me. Just Google Senate Bill 652 in Michigan. Read all about it yourself. And then call up your state rep. Call up your, your senator and say, what are you doing? You know. And when they ask you what you want done, you say, you guys passed that in 12 days, get it repealed. And, um, you know, you guys vote. And uh, these guys don't have to hold those offices. You know, they, it wasn't a unanimous vote. It was, it was pretty close. But the guys that voted for it, some of them are my friends, I guess, but it really worked me over. It puts me at square one again. So it's two years of my life. This is going to be our third Christmas um, at odds with the states, and I can and I can tell you it's not good. And uh, uh, now that they pulled this, I I just wonder if if uh, you know the state is is worthwhile. I really do. All right.